Hello everyone. Welcome back to today's topic of the day. Today we'll be discussing about sexual harassment in sports. Now the Ministry of Sports has formed an oversight committee headed by Mericom to investigate the charges leveled by some prominent wrestlers against Wrestling Federation of India president Brijesh Bhushan Sharan Singh. Talking about the composition of the committee, the five-member oversight committee includes MC Mericom as the chairperson, Yogeshwar Dutt, an Olympic medalist wrestler, Trupti Murgunde Shatla, Radhika Sriman, former executive director of the Sports Authority of India, and retired commander Rajesh Raja Gopalan, CEO of former Target Olympic Podium Scheme. Now the committee has a clear mandate or power to inquire into the allegations leveled by the sports persons related to sexual misconduct harassment and intimidation financial irregularities and administrative lapses and also to undertake the day to day administration of wfi during the course of the inquiry to promote good governance in the wrestling federation of india the oversight committee will complete the inquiry within 4 weeks talking about the key elements of sexual harassment at workplace now sexual harassment is a sexually determined behavior whether directly or by implication that is unwelcome and offensive to its recipient in 2010 the delhi high court endorsed the view that sexual harassment is a subjective experience harassment should be analyzed from the compliance perspective it is the impact and not the intent that matters conduct that many men consider unobjectionable may often a women also men tend to view some forms of sexual harassment as harmless social interactions to which women can object now if we look at the impacts of the sexual harassment in sports sexual harassment in sports are regarded as an abuse of professional ethics status and power workplace sexual harassment involves serious health human economic and social costs which hinders overall development in this is of a nation economically empowered women are key to the nation's overall development and this can only be achieved in a safe environment for work sexual harassment in sports lowers the self esteem and limits the ability of women and girls to develop their full potential in sports and fitness activities also in a country like india where the sports is still not considered a viable career option incidents of sexual harassment in sports could discourage parents from sending their daughters to stadiums now if we look at the government initiatives to prevent sexual harassment the sports authority of india has issued guidelines to national sports federation of india that women coach mandatorily accompany the contingent with female athletes during domestic or international travel next vishaka guidelines for prevention of sexual harassment at workplace were laid down by the supreme court of india in 1997 in the case vishaka and others versus state of rajasthan these guidelines were incorporated in the sexual harassment of women at workplace prevention prohibition and redressal act 2013 it defines sexual harassment lays down the procedures for a complaint and inquiry and the action to be taken further the ministry of women and child development has developed an online complaint management system titled sexual harassment electronic box she box for women working in both public and private organizations to lodge complaints of sexual harassment at workplace now about the wrestling federation of india it is a governing body of wrestling in india and is headquartered in new delhi talking about mericom she was born in 1982 and is a boxer from manipur she is the only woman to win the world amateur boxing championship six times and the only boxer male or female to win eight world championship medals in 2012 summer olympics she won a bronze medal she also served as the member of rajya sabha from 2016 to 2022 and was awarded padma vibhushan in 2020 Now that was little bit about the sexual harassment in sports let's take a practice question from the topic consider the following statements regarding she box 
Statement 1. The Ministry of Women and Child Development has developed Sexual Harassment Electronic Box, SheBox. Statement 2. It is an online complaint management system for women working only in public organizations to lodge complaints of sexual harassment at workplace. Now, which of the statements given above is or are correct? You may take a moment and give your answer in the comment section below. Now, the correct answer is A. That is, only statement 1 is correct. Statement 2 is incorrect as SheBox is an online complaint management system for women working both in public and private organizations. I hope you liked the video and found the information useful. You may also check out our daily current affairs section on our website and for more such videos, stay tuned to the next IES YouTube channel.